Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering English. Imagine standing on a bridge that spans miles across a river or a valley. Have you ever wondered how these incredible structures are built and what makes them stand the test of time? Well, today we're uncovering the secrets behind the world's most iconic bridge designs. Let's start with beam bridges. Structurally, beam bridges consist of horizontal beams supported at both ends by piers or abutments. The weight of the bridge and the loads it carries are transferred directly to the supports. They're often used for short spans like small roadways and pedestrian paths due to their simplicity and cost effectiveness. Next, arch bridges. From a structural engineering perspective, the arch shape is highly efficient in distributing loads. The curved structure allows the weight to be transferred outside to the supports at each end. Arch bridges are known for their durability and are often used for medium to long spans. They are also aesthetically pleasing and have a timeless appeal. Moving on to suspension bridges. Structurally, these bridges are supported by cables suspended between towers. The main cables carry the loads and distribute it to the towers which transfer it to the ground. This design allows for spanning very long distances, making them ideal for large bodies of water or deep valleys. They are engineering feats and can support extremely heavy loads. Lastly, cable state bridges. In this design, the cables are directly connected to towers, forming a series of straight lines. This configuration provides excellent structural efficiency, allowing for medium to long spans. Cable state bridges are known for their modern appearance and are often used in urban environments. So there you have it, a deeper look at different types of bridges from a structural engineering perspective. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more engineering insights. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.